Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, there. There's my bio, as always. And we're going to be talking about Kentucky Olympians. Uh, if anyone that's connected to Kentucky, now whether or not they were born here, or went to school here, somehow connected uh, to us here in Kentucky. It's not just Louisville, but the overall state. So number one, I wanted to mention that historically, uh, one of the earliest Kentuckians that we had was this one guy named Willis Lee. He, as you can tell, was in the military. He was a sharp shooter. And in the 1920 uh, Olympic Games, he won uh, seven medals, five of them gold for, shoot, for shooting. And uh, he passed away or died uh, during the World War II. Uh, he's buried in Arlington National Cemetery. But he was from Owen County, which is just north of us here from Louisville, uh, near Owenton, Kentucky. Also want to mention this guy here, Arnold Strode Jackson. He, uh, as you can tell, he was a runner, and uh, he was from actually from England. He was not from the United States. He was from England, uh, and he uh, won a gold medal in the 1912 Stockholm Olympics for the Great Br uh, Great Britain team, Olympic team. But after the uh, the war, after the Olympics and all, uh, he. Uh, married a woman from New Albany, Indiana, and came to Louisville and settled in Louisville for a while. Then they moved up to Connecticut uh, after a while. Uh, she then passed away, and he ended up moving back to England where he died in 1972. So it's kind of an interesting connection to Louisville, but he did live here for several years, and so I thought I would. And he was also uh, connected to the Speed Art Museum. He wrote uh, articles for the Courier Journal and things like that. So he did a number of things while he lived here. Uh, one of, perhaps one of the most uh, decorated uh, uh, Kentucky Connected teams was the uh, 1948 uh, Olympic basketball team, which was coached by uh, famous Adolf Rupp of UK. And I'm, I'm pretty certain they won the gold medal that year as well, 1948. They should have if they didn't. <laughs> so in basketball, we had a lot of uh, Kentucky-related players in that. Obviously, 1948 with that team then, all the way down to just the most recent 2024 uh, Olympic team, the Paris team. Uh, but we've had UK, and if you notice, they're all UK related. There were no U of L basketball players who had played in the Olympics, men's that is. And so here was the uh, 2024 uh, USA basketball team: uh, Bam Adebayo, uh, Delvin Booker, Devin Booker, and Anthony Davis. Those three were all UK basketball players. And hopefully everyone watched that thrilling, it was a thrilling basketball game on Saturday. Oh, it went, uh, it was just, thank goodness for Stephon Curry. Was he out, I mean, he was unconscious, wasn't he, shooting those three-pointers? That one was just a, 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 a rainbow three-pointer, and he went in. And LeBron's was good, too. LeBron's. So here, uh, talking about the, uh, the basketball gold medal, of course, LeBron James there in the center, Stephon Curry here off to the left. But yeah, just what a spectacular basketball game. Here's talking about the uh, three UK players who were on that uh, team, uh, Bam Adebayo, uh, Devin Booker, and Anthony Davis. I tell you, Davis, even though he wasn't the main figure, he kept them in the game at certain times when uh, it looked like France was getting some momentum. Davis came through on several occasions getting a key rebound or scoring a point or two or blocking a shot. He had like four blocks in the game. He really helped out. So here are all the uh, UK Olympians. They, UK had 24 Olympian uh, athletes at the Paris Games. That is, yeah, I know, it's outrageous. They had 24. Uh, these are the ones that just participated on the USA team. A number of them, as you can see all these flags down below here, a lot of the athletes competed on their, uh, rel uh, on their ancestors' teams, if you will. So if, uh, let's say if you, uh, you had a UK athlete and his mother was from Spain and that player could not play on the USA team, 
he would then go oh, to the Spain team. It was mostly because they couldn't fit on the American Right, they could not get on. Except for the one that, this, and I should have included him, the Swedish pole vaulter. Mm -hmm. If you saw him, he actually was from the U.S. And um, he competed at LSU, but his mother was from Sweden. And so instead of competing on, and he could have competed on the USA pole vaulting team, but he chose Sweden. Of course, he won gold. Uh, for the Swedish team. But well, he loved his mother. Yes, he loved his mother. <laughs> but that's interesting. So anyways, UK just phenomenal uh, athletes in the tournament this year. Just keeping up with them all was, was fascinating, as you'll soon see. Uh, the first one I want to highlight is Lee Kiefer. Wow, she just was phenomenal in fencing. Won an individual gold medal and then helped the team win their team gold medal. And, uh, and all. What's also interesting about her that I just learned today is her grandmother lives here in Louisville. Her grandmother is from the Philippines and she's a doctor here. Uh, she's got to be in her late 80s, early 90s now. She's long since retired. But uh, when she was over in the Philippines, for whatever reasons, she decided to come to uh, Louisville to get her medical degree. The, the, grand, the grandmother did. And so uh, she settled here in Louisville. And then, of course, Lee, uh, 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 for whatever reason, lived in Lexington, uh, went to UK. Not, not UK, she actually went to Notre Dame first. Now she's at UK on a medical uh, deal. She's going to become a doctor. Mm -hmm. But uh, just phenomenal. So she has a Philippine uh, heritage to her. Yeah, I think that's not her. And she oh, yeah. claim her. <laughs> so it had two gold medals this time. Lee Kiefer, phenomenal. And her husband also uh, uh, was in the Olympics. I think he com competed on another team. I don't know if he was on the U.S. team. I, I want to say he was on the Greek team or something else. But anyways, his her husband also, and they're both at medical school at UK right now. Wow. Uh, one other uh, basketball connection, Ryan Howard. Uh, she was a former UK basketball player. Uh, she now plays for the Atlanta Dream a WNBA team. But she was on the 3x3 three three basketball team, 3x3. Three three. It's three players uh, competing against three other players. And her team won a bronze medal. So that's Ryan Howard. Uh, we actually had someone on the volleyball team win a silver medal. Her name was uh, Skinner, what's her first name? Avery Skinner. Silver, and that was, uh, unfortunately, who was it that beat them? Uh, was, it, was it France that beat them or Italy? Italy. Uh, Italy was just dominant this year at volleyball. We have a lot of track and field uh, player, uh, athletes. Uh, uh, this was uh, Daniel Roberts. Uh, won a track and field, 110 meter hurdles, it says. I didn't get to see that, uh, uh, that uh, race, but uh, got a silver, from, again, from UK. UK really has to be proud of their track and field teams. They did so well. Uh, here's uh, interesting. Now, this is the, uh, the Tokyo. This was 2021, where uh, Camacho Quinn adds Kenny Harrison, and both of these uh, track stars went to the University of Kentucky. Okay, so, but uh, Camacho Quinn, she competed for Puerto Rico, and uh, Keeney Harrison com competed for the USA. She got the silver, she got the gold. Uh, this was in the 2021 Tokyo Olympics, and the reason why I want to set it up like this is because it flipped in 2024. 2024, uh, the UK player Mas Masai Russell got the gold, and Camacho Quinn got the silver. So she came in second, uh, even though they both went to UK and all. So it just flipped in the uh, 2024 Paris Olympics from the 2021. So I, I thought that was interesting how that worked. Um, here and then uh, she won a gold medal uh, on the 100 meter hurdles. That's more information on her. And it's just amazing watching them do those hurdles. How they jump so fast over those obstacles is just, it's just amazing. Now then, Sydney McLaughlin Lavron. 
wow, she was just amazing. Hopefully y'all got to see some of her uh, Olympic races. She was amazing. Uh, she competed in three Olympics, 2016, 2021, and 2024 games, but her 2024 Paris games were just amazing, what she did. So here she is here. Uh, she won the, uh, if I can read it, the 400 meter hurdle. I saw her put on that crown. That was interesting. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, that was cool. She put it on and take it off. It yeah. She was just lightning fast. Mm -hmm. And then she was in the uh, 4x400 relay team also. This is her on the right. And then another UK player here is on the left. Uh, Holmes, uh, Alexis Holmes on the left. So two UK players are athletes on that team. Mm -hmm. Got the gold medal. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Uh, there she is there. Uh, Sydney McLaughlin, uh, Laverne, or whatever, Laverne, right there. Sorry, I'm mangling her name. But anyways, so she's been spectacular. And, I don't know if she will go on to the uh, 2028 LA games or not, but uh, she's definitely done well these last two games. Uh, this is the uh, 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Uh, Mary Tucker, uh, she won a silver medal there in the Tokyo Olympics. She did compete in the 2024 Paris Games, but did not get a medal. Uh, William Shaner, uh, he also was a shooter in the uh, Tokyo Games, but did not make it to the uh, Paris Games. But he did get a, what did he get? He got a gold medal in the uh, men's 10 meter air rifle in the 2021 Games. Uh, okay, that was all UK related. Here, let's give U of L its due. So on the uh, University of Louisville website, they list all of their athletes who uh, have participated in the Olympic Games over the last 40 or so years. And most of them did not medal. As you can see a variety of folks here, swimming and diving, track and field, no medals here. Well, uh, you could take that off. <laughs> no, they participated. They participated. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, it's a good thing for them to they make. Yeah. Them. And so here are some more here in the 2012 games. Here is someone got a, uh, where's the gold medal? Where's it? Angel McCarthy uh, with women's basketball got a gold medal. Kelsey Worrell got one in the uh, 4 by 100 uh, swimming. So uh, we did have some gold medalists there. And then uh, here are some more. The only U of L basketball player to be on an Olympic team was Rodney McCray in men's basketball. However, that 1980 team boycotted the Russian Olympics, if you all recall that. And so he did not get to compete. But he's the only uh, uh, men's basketball player that I know of uh, from U of L. And you would think we would have had more on, on those teams. Uh, here is Kelsey Worrell, who I mentioned earlier. She was a U of L swimmer. And uh, she won a gold medal in the 4 by 100 meter medley relay. So we did get a gold medal there in the uh, 2016 Rio Games. As I mentioned earlier, Angel McCautry uh, won a, a gold medal with the, uh, she won two gold medals in the London Games and the Rio Games 2012-2016. She's legendary uh, WNBA basketball player from Louisville. And then uh, in this uh, Olympics, in the 2024 Paris Games, Kelly Van Lift played on the 3x3 three three team. Uh, she's a former U of L star, so we all may remember Kelly Van Lift. Uh, she left U of L and went down and uh, played for LSU last year. But uh, anyway, she was on the uh, women's 3x3 three three basketball team, and they got a bronze medal this year. So here are all uh, uh, the U of L uh, athletes that were at the Paris Games. They had swimming, although none of the none of their swimmers competed for the USA team. They all competed for other countries. Ooh, gosh, uh, it was like what, only one of all of those. Yeah, of all of those, only one, Jaden Ulrich. Uh, she was a um, I think she was a shot putter, 
is what she, or discus. One of the two, discus or shot glitter, is what she did. Was it discus that she was on? I never did see her compete, but I did watch the discus. Wow. Those are amazing, aren't they? The, those ladies could throw that discus and shot put. I was amazed. I, I couldn't even lift one of those things. But anyways, so you'll go have a lot of uh, different uh, uh, players, uh, athletes on the teams, and only one actually competing for the USA. Ah, uh, Yurid Lagoose. Hopefully everyone got to see him in the 1500 meter yes. race, bronze medal. Wow, um, I actually got to see that race. It was like last week ago, Friday, that he did this. Came in the bronze medalist for this. It was the 1500 meters, a long, long race. I think they go around like 15 times or so around the track. It, it's, it's very grueling uh, competition. And uh, wow, he went to Manuel High School, he's from Louisville, and then he's at Notre Dame as well. And there, I uh, took some photographs off the TV. Um, Cole, Cole Hawker won it, he was USA, and he was from Indianapolis. Um, and all. This Norwegian guy was actually the favorite in the race, and he came in fourth. Oops, oh, we're back up. And here he is. Uh, hugging his mother and running around the track and all that. It was a great story and the news media here locally did a great feature on him. Very great athlete. Sunny Choi, I want to say, she was in breaking, which is break dancing. I was, I watched some of that probably on repeat last night and it was a lot. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I still don't know that I, Rank it as an a Olympic sport, sport. right? <laughs> but it's amazing what they can make their bodies do. This is true, and I think she came in fifth or so. She did not medal, uh, but uh, yeah, and uh, she's from Louisville, and uh, at least competed, and got up there on the stage. And I also heard that break dancing is not coming back for the next Olympics. Oh, you would think in LA they would they have it. They tabled that one for something else. They switch them right. out. Yeah, really next year, uh, the next one, they're going to have baseball and some other sport. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, we, uh, this is the Tokyo Olympics of 2021. Brooke Forty uh, competed in the swim team competition. And Pat Forty, uh, who's a sports writer based here in Louisville, was her father. I think Brooke went to, I want to say, either Sacred Heart or Assumption. I'll get that wrong, I'm sure. but. Um, so she's from Louisville, and she competed in, on the swim team in the Tokyo Olympics. Uh, Justin Thomas, he did not compete in the 2024, but he was in the 2021 games there in Tokyo. Came in, what, 22nd place. Uh, Mariah Dunnigan, uh, she was uh, from Kentucky. Thinks, yeah, she swam for IU, and she was in the uh, uh, 2021 uh, Tokyo, I believe, as well as she did come, she did make the Olympic team, but I don't think she swam. I googled around on her. I did not see her swimming on any uh, competition, but she did make the team, but may not have been more of an alternate, if you will. I looked it up. Crickets replacing breaking. Crickets. <laughs> okay. I knew it was in one of the odd, not oh. one of the mainstream sports. So here are all the Kentucky athletes that I had listed. Uh, and these were primarily on the USA team, but again, we had a lot of a uh, lot of folks, and it almost seemed like every day there were some Kentuckian competing on one of the uh, the teams. I featured a lot of the uh, 2021 Tokyo Olympics and all the various uh, folks uh, competing not only for the USA teams but also the other countries. We had a lot of folks back in the uh, 2021 games. I know there was an uh, athlete, and I looked for him today, but uh, I know Western Kentucky University had at least one athlete competing in the 2024 games, and I could not figure out who that was. But I heard him on the TV mention it, but I failed to get that. Um, okay, now, we have a lot of athletes in the summer games for obvious reason, but this is the only athlete I could find in the winter games. <laughs> so in the winter games, uh, 
uh, was, I don't even want to try to pronounce her name, <laughs> but she's from Nigeria, and yeah, she's known as Simi, I'll say that, and uh, uh, her parents lived here in Louisville, and you know, and she was a skeleton or a uh, bobsled uh, racer, and she has, is my understanding, yeah, she's uh, already uh, uh, authorized or has won to go to the 2026 Olympic Games, and she's already practicing. And she was just interviewed not too long ago on the local news about her efforts. But uh, anyway, so that's the only um, athlete that I know of in the winter games. We in Kentucky don't have too many winter sports here, like bobsledding or skiing. So we can see for that. There's some more photographs of her with the bobsled. Skeleton and all. So let me talk about some more very famous uh, Olympic athletes. Of course, Mary T. Maher, um, and she would have been on the 1980 team again, but it was boycotted there in Russia. She's done so phenomenal. And I meant to uh, uh, look up her time for the butterfly versus what it is today. See how much it's different. It's amazing how these athletes, every Olympics, improve on their previous time. And I need to see what she did in the 1984 Olympics when she won her gold medals compared to 40 years Let's later in 2024. Yeah, and I don't have either one of the 84 or the 2024 times. But um, she was Madam Butterfly, they are best in the world. And, you know, and we have a pool name after. That is correct, and I'll mention that in just a second. Uh, but anyways, yeah, she's won all these me uh, medals and everything. She now lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and has several kids. There you go, Mary T. Maher. And they did just this beautiful mural just recently on her there. Very nice. Yeah, but for butter Man and Butterfly, yes. Ah, perhaps the most famous Olympic athlete from Louisville, Muhammad Ali, and they mean, I mentioned him on several occasions during the telecast uh, over the Olympics this time, talking about how he uh, lit the Olympic flame and was a fabulous boxer and all. He was only 18 years old when he won his gold medal. It's amazing. There he is. Looks like a kid. Yeah. Walker was only 16 in 86. Or 84, you mean? This is 86. I could be wrong. Yeah. yeah I don't know when she was born. That's the final in uh, Miami. Olympic Games in Los Angeles was in 84. It said she was 19. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, Muhammad Ali, of course, was uh, born in this house here at 3302 Grand Avenue. And he would ride his bike back and forth to the gym that you see there. And uh, as you know the story, that someone stole his bike, and uh, uh, Joe Martin, who was uh, a police officer, in encouraged him to go into boxing, basically saying, well, if you're going to find out whoever stole your bike, you better learn to fight, because you had to fight that person to get your bike back. Mm -hmm. And so that sort of led him into boxing. And uh, at this gym downtown at 4th and York, they put a bicycle like Mohammed's up there on the gym to kind of, as a symbol, remind everyone of all that. There's some of his boxing prowess. He would always come back to Louisville. I saw him on several occasions. Uh, I'm not sure if, did anyone else here meet Mohammed while he was here? He would always go to U of L football games. You would see him, see him out and about doing various things. Here's sort of his, uh, Resume is bio. I'm reading a book on Harvey Sloan uh -huh. and just got to the page that says that Carson Porter, who is a member here, one of our people, and he uh, was helping with Harvey Sloan's campaign. And so uh, Carson is an attorney. He's an attorney at that time. And so it says Carson and uh, Harvey Sloan decided to go to New Orleans to watch Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. And then Muhammad Ali gets on the Democratic ticket too. 
huh. to help Harvey Sloan oh. with his mayor. And I think Muhammad Ali got married in Harvey Sloan's house yes. on the oh, fourth. Harvey and, uh, Sloan, yeah. yeah. Married so yeah, they're very, his fourth wife. They very got uh, very yeah. close there. Yes, Muhammad Ali. And of course, his funeral, just the spectacular. And that's his uh, grave site in Cave Hill Cemetery. And next door will be uh, Danny, Danny Crum. Crum. <laughs> yeah, Danny Crum has the uh, plot right to the right over here. And as hopefully y'all saw where his monument will be installed. It got, yeah, but it's in the deep got sea. Delayed, it's in it? the Red Sea right now. It got delayed. I thought that was a joke when I first heard No, like yeah. a sinker. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got sunk by the Houthi pirates. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, that kind of story you hear first thing in the morning, you think somebody's rolling your leg. <laughs> <laughs> the Houthis are good friends. When did he become a Muhammad Ali? He was causing his clay. Yeah, uh, here I am. 1964. 1964, he changed his name to Muhammad Ali. Yeah. He became a Muslim. And there he is. And I, I actually took this photograph here that you see there. I was at a restaurant and he was coming through the restaurant. The crowd was partying like the Red Sea. He comes up, told my wife to get ready. I'm wearing a picture of you and Muhammad Ali. Right when he goes to shake my wife's hand, he points at me with a camera. He always knew where the, the camera was. And there's the uh, Ali Center there. Of course, we now name our airport for him. And the Paris 2024 games that we just saw. So I was going to discuss a little bit about the Paris Olympics. So um, they had games not only in uh, in Paris, but throughout the country. Uh, the soccer matches were throughout the country, and various other matches they had. And they had the, what the surfing competition in Tahiti. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> and then they had some other competition in some other country as well. But uh, most of them were uh, in France and most around Paris. In Versailles, they, uh, uh, when they did the marathon yesterday, um, they ran around Versailles, if you all got to see that. How do we say Versailles in Kentucky? Versailles. <laughs> <laughs> so here is, um, uh, I'm not sure if you all have been, I was in Paris uh, not too long ago, and so I'm, this was downtown Paris right here with the Eiffel Tower. But the main venues were way out to the north there. And I think they said it was a 25-minute drive from downtown Paris out to the uh, stadiums. And so here is a, a graphic of the stadium, the track and field stadium, and the swimming venue. There they, there's an actual photograph. This was just an artist rendering, and that's how it actually was built. There, so you see the track and field stadium, very beautiful stadium, I thought. And then the swimming venue right here, where they did all the swimming things. There's the uh, track and field so stadium. So did they build that for the Olympics? That's they, correct, yes. Because I thought, I heard somewhere that that's why they didn't have the grand opening like they, opening ceremonies like they normally do, because they didn't want to build things or something. Oh, okay. But yeah, they, did, they did build they this. They should have done it there then. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I was not a fan of the opening or closing and how no, they did that. That's now, the reason I heard is why they did it in the water is because they didn't want to build anything else in the city. But now the uh, uh, closing was here at the stadium, right. but yeah, the opening was there in the city, like you say, in the city. On the it was a beautiful stadium. And here's the uh, swimming, the aquatic center. And I noticed, I thought that this was all concrete, but in some of the images I saw, it's all wood. There's a wood frame structure from what I can yeah. gather. It's amazing. Wood? Yeah, it's all wood. Above water. What's that? Above water. Above yeah, water. yeah, above water, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was treated properly, but, uh, <laughs> but the diving was just spectacular. The Chinese were oh, just un unbelievable. Unbe agreed, unbelievable, and, and they uh, were so young. And they hardly made a splash when they hit yeah, the no, world. That was no. the key thing. How big a splash did you yeah, make? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just uh, was amazed by all that. Just beautiful. 
So now then, how did we do? So this is the 2024 Olympics, of course, and uh, uh, the United States got a total of 126 medals, 40 gold, as also did China, 40 gold, but they only got 91. So uh, you can see the top five here. And then this one, I thought I'd compare it to the 2021 20, Tokyo Olympics. So again, the U.S. was number one up here as well with 113. Uh, China was second. Don't know who the ROC is. That could be the Russians, perhaps. I know the Russians did not only set, uh, due to the uh, Ukrainian war, they weren't allowed to really compete in the 2024. This may be the uh, Russian Olympic team. Uh, they got 71. Great Britain, Great Britain came in. But you can see France was only number 10 in 2021, but number, what, 4 in the 2024, which meant, you know, the, that gave them a, a big incentive, I guess, be on your home turf to do better. So, yeah, they got uh, uh, 64 total points here and uh, 33 in the 2021. Uh, Japan, who was the host country here, they came in fifth, they had 58. And they're not listed uh, here, but they were in the top 10. I want to say they uh, had uh, around 50 or so uh, medals also. So they had dropped down a bit. And of course, Australia, they have a really good team, as you saw. You know, they had swimmers did well, and uh, they had a good overall team, the Australians did. But anyway, so overall, the United States doing well. And of course, it being in, uh, in the U.S. in 2028, at LA, we hope to do even better, right? Perhaps. And there we go. There the I didn't see so much of the uh, the mascots there. Did y'all see the mascots much? I didn't even see them in the opening or closing ceremonies. But that was the mascots, and don't ask me what, what they it? are. <laughs> so, were there, was there any sports or uh, uh, things that y'all saw that y'all really liked? Uh, any particular sport that y'all watch or uh, the, the diving, the, the diving, and the gymnastics. Right? Oh yeah, then I have some uh, vials up there. Yeah, yeah. It's just amazing what she could do. Who knew? Um, and she's retiring. That's correct. We didn't. I don't think we uh, Kentucky had any uh, gymnast-related uh, folks. I'm not sure if we've ever had any gymnasts from Louisville or UK or Kentucky. It's just not something I guess we do. The track and field we're big in, swimming, we're good in fencing, obviously, with a, uh, Lee Kiefer doing well. And I'm not sure if she'll compete in the 2028 Olympics or not. Uh, but anyways, it was an exciting Olympics game and uh, uh, very cool. Any other questions on that? I had a friend who was going to compete in the 86 Olympics, but then she got 